readers. I'm so happy to read to you this morning. Um, I have two friends with me to read with you. This is Hoppy. He's my puppy and he is going to try not to bark while I read to you and I put his bone here. And this is Ranger and Ranger I think will be pretty quiet while I'm reading to you. So we're going to read you the story of One Plastic Bag by Isatu Sisi and she is a woman that um, recycled plastic bags in her country and turned them into something very special. So I'll read this to you this morning. In Najah, Nez Gambia. And here's the picture. You can see it. Now let me read it to you. Isatu walks with her chin frozen. Fat raindrops pelt her bare arms. Her face hides in the shadow of a palm leaf basket and her neck stings with every step. Warm scents of burning wood and bub bubbling peanut stew drift past. Her village is close now. She lifts her nose to catch the smell. The basket tips, one fruit tumbles, then two, then 10, the basket breaks, ice to kicks the dirt. And here she is, look at the next page. Can we see her? Something silky dances past her eyes, softening her anger. It moves like a flag, flapping in the wind, and settles under a tamarind tree. Isatu slides the strange fabric through her fingers and discovers it can carry things inside. She carries her fruits in the bag. The basket is useless now. She drops it, knowing it will crumble and mix back in with the dirt. Here's the next page. Look at that, readers. Four goats greet Isatu's grandmother, Mumbai, emerges from her kitchen hut. Hurry in before the rain soaks your beautiful Mubaba. Isatu scurries in and grandmother serves spicy rice and fish. Rain drums on the creaking aluminum roof. I, I, I broke your bag, Isatu confesses, but I found this. Plastic, grandmother frowns. There's more in the city. Look at what Isatu starts to notice. Day after day, Isatu watches neighbors tote their things in bright blue or black plastic bags. Children slurp water and wanjo from tiny holes poked in clear bags. Market trays filled with minties wrapped in rainbows of plastic. The colors are beautiful, she thinks. She swings her bag high. The handle breaks. One paper escapes then two, then 10. Isatu shakes sand off her papers. Another plastic bag floats by and she tucks her things inside. The torn bag is useless now. She drops it in the dirt as everyone does. There's nowhere else to put it. Day after day. Oh, I forgot to show you the picture, I'm sorry. Here we go, we can see some of the problems. Look at that. Day after day, the bag she dropped is still there. One plastic bag becomes two, then 10, then 100. Plastic isn't beautiful anymore, she thinks. Her feet step down a cleaner path, and the thought floats away. Years pass, and Isatu grows into a woman. She barely notices the ugliness growing around her until the ugliness finds its way to her. Oh, let's see what happens. See those photos? Beautiful illustrations. Isatu hears a goat crying and hurries toward grandmother's house. Why is it tied up? Where are the other goats? Inside the butcher is speaking in a low vo excuse me, low voice. Many goats have been eating these, he says. The bags twist around their insides and the animals cannot survive. Now three of your goats and so many other goats in the village have died. Grandmother Mombaz Viewed powerful, shoulders sag. Isatu must be strong and do something, but what? Isatu's feet lead her to the old, ugly road. A pile of garbage stands as wide as grandmother's cooking hut. Mosquitoes swarm near dirty pools of water alongside the pile. Smoke from burning plastic stings her nose. Her feet back away. Look at this. Whoa. Look at the expression on her face. 
Goats scamper past. They forage through the trash for food. Her feet stop. She knows too much to ignore it now. Holding her breath, she plucks one plastic bag from the pile, then two, then ten, then a hundred. <gasps> Look what she find, figures out what to do. Do you see how she sees a problem? And she starts to figure something out. What can we do? As the two asked her friends. Let's wash them, says Fatim. Fatim pulling out almost soap. Maram grabs a bucket and Incha fetches water from the well. Peggy finds clothespins and they clip the wash bags on the line. As the bags dry, Isatu watches her sister's crochet. Can you teach me? Wah, yes. Her sister shows Isatu the stitches, then hands her a metal tool. Isatu's fingers busy themselves in, out. <gasps> Thank you. Oh, look, that's what they're doing. Isatu finds a broomstick and carves her own tool from its wood. What's that for? Fatim asks. Isatu pauses. She and Peggy have an idea. But will their friends think it's crazy? Will the idea even work? Nervously, she explains the plan. One friend agrees to help. Then two. Then five. The woman cut bags into strips and roll them into spools of plastic thread. Before long, they teach themselves how to crochet, crochet with this thread. Oh, look at them all crocheting. Do you see that? Look what they're making. How is this work? asked Grandmother. Slow. Some people in the village laugh at us. Others call us dirty, but I believe what we are doing is good. The women crochet by candlelight away from those who mock them. Oh, look what they made. Until a morning comes when they no longer work in secret. Fingers sore and blistered, Isatu hauls recycled purses to the city. One person laughs at her, then two, then ten, then one. Oh, look. Oh, my goodness. One, per one woman lays Dalashi coins on the table. She chooses a purse and shows it to one friend, then two, then ten. Soon everyone wants one. Oh, look at the money she's making. It's working. Isatu fills her own purse with Dalashi. She zips it shut and rides home to tell grandmother she has made enough to buy a new goat. When she pauses, by the pile of rubbish, she smiles because it is smaller now. She tells herself one day it will be gone and my home will be beautiful. One day it was. Oh, readers, I hope you love this story as much as I did. And you know what? Isa too has a video on how to make these purses. And if you have plastic bags, around your home, you might be able to make one of these too. So on the link right below my video is a way to make these. And please know I tried really hard to pronounce some of the words in here, but I, I, I don't know how to pronounce some of them. So I did my best, but um, I might have made a mistake. So someone in the comments might be able to help me. Thank you. Happy reading, everyone.